Hey folks, DC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the server for Farm Sim 17. Yes, indeed, I am back here on our Sosnovka server. I had a little bit of an issue with it there yesterday. I uh, updated a bunch of the mods and added a bunch that were from the mod hub and everything was fine and then suddenly one of my tractors wouldn't go backwards and then my HUD disappeared and <laughs> it was some other rather odd things and I logged off and logged back in only to find the entire save was gone so didn't know what I did but uh, as you can see we have it back I don't have all of the gear etc that I had the last time because uh, well that was hours and hours and hours of work so but that'll come I was uh, on today because today is the first day that our server is actually open and it is of course today open to uh, well starting today for the week it is open to those people that entered and won our contest from our forum so make sure if you haven't logged up signed in or signed in and, no logged in and signed up oh whatever uh, be sure to do that. The links are below in the description. So, my buddy uh, Clint Watts was just on a couple of minutes ago, but he's gone to install Mumble. So that hopefully we can uh, see how the voice chat works. And uh, I suppose for me, if he doesn't know it, don't tell him. Uh, I also have to see if it actually works with my recordings. <laughs> Where'd my guinea pig go? I, I mean, where's my buddy Clint? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Clint Watts, the guy that did the uh, Watts farm map, by the way. So, yeah, he's uh, he logged on to our forum, signed up, got himself in there, and watched the videos, and came up with the right answer, which, uh, well, let's see, this will be going up on Monday, so yeah, I can actually tell you. Uh, lemon scented tractor grease was the answer to the first contest, so there you go. So, hopefully, Clint will be back on soon. I thought in the meantime I'd, uh, well, make myself useful. So, here we are, harvesting away. Very nice. Do hope everyone had a good weekend. For uh, a lot of us, this is the weekend that they change the time zones. Which is uh, always an interesting thing, of course, because half the clock's in your house are right and half of them are wrong. And some of them, well, they can be right next time changing. No one really cares. But, uh, yeah, I was actually a little confused by the whole thing this morning. My wonderful kitties came in to see if Dad had died in his sleep and they'd have an early breakfast or not. I, I mean, came in to wake me up. And, uh, I glance over at my bedside table clock and I'm going, yeah, okay, but kitties, time change, man. I get an extra hour, you're ripping me off for the only extra hour I get the whole year. Yeah, of course I didn't remember that the particular clock I was looking on, as long as it's plugged into the wall, it will automatically update its time. <laughs> so it was in fact the right time and my kitties were even more insistent because I guess in reality, they were an hour late, and, uh, well, you know, kitties aren't fond of being fed hours late. I do like the animations on the, uh, the header. They look pretty darn good, I got it, yeah. Yeah, not nearly the amount of kit. I did make sure that we have a nice number of fields and all of the important things. Like you can see, we've got our straw storage shed and stuff like that up there. So that should work well. I'm almost thinking I want to lower that a little bit. There we go. That looks better. I don't think it honestly makes a difference in this game. But... Uh, I think it looks a little better when the threshing head's not three inches above the uh, the actual crop. 
I'm not sure how these things work, but I would assume that's the bit that uh, knocks the tops off. Or loosens them, or does whatever it does to them. And then the uh, little blade system on the bottom is what actually cuts it off. I don't know, like I say. I'm assuming that all of that happens right there on the head, so that they know what to spit out and what to keep in the tank. And I would think it keeps in the tank what that top thresher knocks off. That that would be my guess. As I said, I've never actually uh, been this up close. Well, I have been up close, but not inside one and not while it was running. But I have actually uh, seen a combine in real life. <laughs> I'm not a farmer in real life, but I do play one on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I tell you. Well, I do hope that uh, Mr. Watts comes back. I know that the uh, the audio, what do they call it, audio wizard on the whole mumble thing is a little bit odd. And uh, I don't know. I don't think that... Uh, I don't think that in the static environment they provide, you can actually uh, manage to get it set up quite right. It seems to be really echoey. Of course, I don't know how it's working now because, uh, well, it's not much point pushing the talk button when there's no one to talk to. <laughs> but hopefully, as uh, people's day progresses, as all of the winners of the contest have, in fact, uh, been notified and been given instructions as to how they can get on the server. That uh, we get a few other people show up. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be on here for the entire day, but I will definitely be on in the evenings, at least through our first week of, uh, shall we call it, public use. And, uh, at random other times all throughout the day. Oh, I believe that would mean that Clint's back. Clint joins the server. There you go. Hopefully I'll actually be able to hear him. <laughs> hey buddy, can you hear me? I can see you. Can you see me? Hello? Oh. <laughs> I'll press the talk button now. Can you hear me? Or, sorry, can you hear me now? Yes, no, no, yes, yes, no. That's wonderful. Every time I press uh, enter for the conversation, it uh, 
shuts off this thing. <laughs> That's just brilliant. That's just brilliant. There's Clint. Hey, man. Let's be sure he's got some money, shall we? That's kind of annoying that the enter thing uh, shuts off. run to this store, do you? Take a tractor. set up. Oh, don't you start, little Dexter. There we go. Lovely. Well, I wonder why you couldn't hear me. That's kind of uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Let's put the pipe out. Oops, the pipe was out. Sorry. There we go, look at that. Right on the money. themselves a custom truck. Oh, 
it's unfortunate the voice chat thing isn't quite uh, quite happening. Take a little bit of fine tuning. Didn't really have a chance because I was setting the server up myself. So uh, you know, I could only assume that when I press the button, something happens. <laughs> uh, one never knows though. Tractor back. There we go. Let's take the Velo Visto. Straw shedder because we have 25 cows. So, uh, as far as I know, they might only have water. Do -do 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 -do. Which would suck for them. <laughs> it would indeed. Yeah, I've still got to buy my truck back too. After the server crash, I haven't replaced my perfect purple pickup, but I will. Likely pretty much the same thing I have going on, because I will be sporting the purple and uh, Xbox green. That's my colors, as you can see here. Or matrix green, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's clean. That's yucky.
I'm really gonna have to change that to something else. <laughs> Clint is going to try and get the mumble thing back working. That's cool. I think I have a feeling I know what the problem is. <laughs> I might have actually given uh, not quite enough info. He says his connection keeps timing out. So, the, uh, the mumble server and the server for the actual farm here are in the same place, so I would imagine that... Uh, if he's getting a really good ping on this thing, he's probably not uh, actually timing out and might actually just need to add a little more to the uh, login info. But hopefully that will straighten itself out. So, I'm going to get the rest of these bales stacked up. A couple of them will go into the cow feeder. And the rest, I'll get the bale stacker out here and start picking them up. still clear it. Uh, unload baler. Oh, it's Y now. Okay. Patui. Patui. Perfect. Let's hold it back up and take it home. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So I'm sure after uh, a day or two of everybody getting used to it, once we break everything in here, that uh, this is all going to run a whole bunch smoother, i.e. the mumble and all of that sort of thing. Well, I'm assuming it will. <laughs> One never knows. This is absolutely my first experience with multiplayer servers, um, especially actually you know, going out and getting one and getting it all set up. So. It amazes me enough that I actually managed to get the server set up so people can log into it, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not uh, non-tech savvy, it's just there's different ways of doing all kinds of different things and because you can do one thing does not mean 
you can do another of these sort of deals. So, but ooh, I think that uh, I'm going to probably call the episode here. And uh, hopefully, Mr. Watts will come back. And uh, the next episode that I do from the server, we should, uh, with any luck at all, there should be nice voice communications and such. I'm going to be on and off all day today. It's because, as I said, it is our first day. It is, in fact, Sunday today, even though you will be seeing this Monday. So, yeah, it's our first day with the server being uh, publicly open, so I just want to make sure people don't have issues. And again, a big thanks to all of you that uh, entered. Hope to see you on over the next few days. And to everyone else, well, if you're interested in coming on and playing with either Eustace Farmer, TBF, or myself, or just coming on and playing on a multiplayer server with whomever it may be, uh, links are down below to log on to the forum. That's the first step. Whoops. And depending how uh, how busy the server stays is going to, uh, you know, determine the uh, the prerequisites for actually getting on. If it looks like we can just sort of leave it open to the members that, you know, have, uh, have registered and have it on so that we don't have to change keys, etc. all the time, we may eventually just come to that point. I did, like I said before, I don't really want to get into a position like I've seen some of the other YouTubes that open a general server and the next thing they know there's, like I said, people are plowing straight through the middle of fields and up to the roads and just, I couldn't believe some of the things that went on that, you know, you go, hey, here's something I'm going to give to you for free to do, and the first thing they do is just abuse the heck out of it. Never made a whole pile of sense to me. So, so oops, 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 don't do that. Oh, bad species. Oh, bad species. Stop it. I'm so used to drive control, I keep uh, hitting the W key and just tapping the space bar. Yeah, he's no work. He's no work. Lovely. It looks like that's gonna. Okay, it's not Y anymore, is it? B? No. Oh, it is Y, right? There we go. I mean, it's not O anymore. It used to be O to unload the bale stackers. But of course, now they've changed that to Y. All I have to do is change Enter to something else, and everything will be coming up with roses. Do you mean I had exactly the right amount of bales? That is somehow almost embarrassing. <laughs> yes, I'd like to put them here. Thank you. Beautiful. Oops. Whoa. Okay, that's... Oh, that hurt. <laughs> right. <laughs> Note to self. Don't ever do that again, dummy. <laughs> and with that, folks, I'm going to... Uh, Log off the recording for now. Uh, hang around on the server for a little while. Oh no, we did leave a couple of ales. Perfect. Hang around on the server for a while. See if Clint makes out all right with the mumble. And until next time, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Again, feel free to sign up to the forums. It's uh, we've got some pretty good members hanging out there. So, till next time, folks. This has been Species Seven for our live server on Susnoka. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. Yeah.